Hi mum. Um, so I'm just going to start off by saying um, that I'm at the sort of, hopefully, near the end of having like a cold. So that's why my voice has gone quite uh, deep. Um, it's not an attempt at being like mysterious and husky. Um, it's phlegm. Also, um, you might be thinking, oh my god, is that a black jumper she's wearing? Has she fallen victim to Stockholm monochrome? I don't think so. I have got, there is some colour on there. Um, and also the plain sort of front is quite good if you're wearing weird trousers like these. So um, yeah, that's this. This is a great segue into what this, what I've been up to this week. So it has been my birthday. Go, go, go shout. It's your birthday. That's been and gone, that's old news now. Bought myself a few bits and bobs as a sort of present to myself. I got a little bit of money for my birthday and I saved most of it, um, but I thought I'd use a little bit. Um, and so yeah, so then I was like, well, I want to show you everything that I got. Um, and also I've seen videos like this where people show off what they bought shopping. Um, and I'm worried that it's going to be like quite obnoxious. Ah, look at me, I'm so lucky and special. Uh, but hopefully it doesn't come across like that. And also, like, people get sent a lot of stuff for free, so it's like not even like they bought it. Um, I can confirm that I paid for everything that I'm about to show you. Um, no theft or sponsorship involved. So, the first bit of shopping um, that I did was on Tuesday with a very honest friend of mine. So we went to Monkey, which is like... So Monkey is like one of H&M's many uh, sort of arms, like branches. I don't know what the technical business term for it is um, but I think there's one in London um, and you can get it oh one just opened in Bristol actually and you can get it online on ASOS um, because a friend of mine sent me a monkey scarf for my birthday uh, via ASOS um, so thank you again for that Holly um, I don't know where oh, here it is. this is that scarf They're great very snug um, perfect timing because like winter's here now so um yeah so i didn't actually buy that but that is good to show you um and so what i did actually buy was this velvet roll neck pouch ish thing uh and yeah it's it's it's, it's quite self explanatory it's velvet basically but ribbed um and uh yeah i should probably put that in the wash because i wore it on friday night and it got pretty sweaty on the dance floor so um, I also bought it in pink because um, I feel like when you find a good top, like a good basic top like that, you kind of, well I just buy like loads of them. So like these uh, roll nets from Uniqlo I bought like, I mean I probably have about 10 now. And they're great because you can wear them in the day, you can wear them in the evening, you can like um, do whatever you like to be honest. Don't, I don't know why I'm trying to pretend like I know what I'm talking about, I don't. I liked them, that's why I bought them. So basically, at the moment, Monkey has loads of velvet. Well, everywhere it does. It's sort of like, I guess it's like coming in now. Um, so, as I said, I was with an honest friend who thankfully talked me out of buying a velvet bomber jacket because A, I have bomber jackets, and B, I guess there is such a thing as too much velvet, and I wasn't aware of where that line was, um, but she was. And the next day, I went to H&M and I got this bad boy. That's a shirt. So I had my eye on it because I was like, that's a really cool pattern and I love, some people might term ugly and my eye would term interesting uh, patterns. Um, but I was like, I can't really justify spending that much money on like a blouse. Um, but then this was reduced to 75 kroners from like 300 and something. So who am I to argue with that? That's obviously like fate wanting me to buy it. Then I went to weekday, which is also H&M, I believe. Um, and that's where I got this amazing jumper, so with the details. Some of it's printed and some of it's like embroidered. Uh, yeah, anyway, whatever. You'll see it when you see me. So then I got this amazing glittery jumper. Oh, and it's quite good because it's like a sweatshirt inside. Because you know sometimes when, well, I don't know how much glitter you wear or sequins and stuff, but sometimes it can be a bit itchy on the inside, but it's just a sweatshirt on the inside. So well done weekday for that. Um, and I also bought um, a Swedish cap. And you might think, what's a Swedish cap? Let me show you. Anyone who is anyone has one of these caps. You can wear it with a long trench coat, you can wear it with a bomber jacket, you can wear it with like 
uh, a, track, a track jacket, like an Adidas sort of three stripe thing. Everybody has one. This is part of my sort of assimilation into Swedish style. And I don't know if you can see, but it is it is velour. Talking of velour, so yeah, so in weekday, I'm gonna restart this story at the beginning. I got really excited thinking about velour. So when we were on weekday, I was talking to my friend about how I kind of want a hoodie to go under my bomber jacket so I can carry on wearing it now that it's getting colder. Um, but you kind of want to find the perfect hoodie and grey is a good colour because it goes, doesn't matter what you're wearing underneath and blah blah blah. So we tried on a few hoodies and the, generally the problem is that because I'm like a, co a great combination of like a little bit wide and very short, that makes buying stuff like a hoodie a bit challenging. I tried, on, I tried one on a uh, weekday and it was a bit big on the shoulders and it was a bit long on the, the zip and then she was like why don't we try the men's section and I was, uh, I agreed because quite often like men's wear is a bit more practical so I've got a lot of jumpers that I've bought from men's sections because they're thicker whereas nine times out of ten when I find a jumper in the women's section of a clothes shop I'll be like oh that's such a nice jumper I take it off the hanger it's cropped and I'm like okay well good so why is that in winter wear so um we left it and then tried H&M tried here tried there found quite a cool one a great sort of a grey hoodie um in a sports shop but it was quite expensive so I was like I'm gonna think about it Yesterday went to uh, an Adidas outlet, tried a couple of more hoodies on, and the, and the zip, because I'm not tall enough, well, some might say not tall enough, others might say a different sort of tall, the zip sort of like goes really weird and bunchy if I want it to like sit on my hips, but then I solved it, because I got a hoodie without a zip, and not only did I get a hoodie without a zip, it's green velour feels like a blanket. I mean, I definitely can't wear it with the cap because they're too similar, I think. But that from Urban Outfitters. So that's the most expensive thing I've bought all week. Um, but I did return two pairs of trousers, which equaled the cost of this. So technically this didn't cost me anything. So that's everything that I bought myself this week. Um, so that's great. So my wardrobe is I'm ready for the winter and whatever it may bring. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I've heard rumours that it might get gets down to like minus 10 or minus 15 um, and I'm not ready for that. But I'm ready for now. I know you said you were going to go winter clothes shopping soon, like maybe this weekend, um, so I can't wait to see what you've got. Send me some lots of pics please. Also good to recap some of the other things that I did, not related it's directly to my birthday. Ice skating um, for the first time in a long time uh, and I didn't fall over which was amazing um, and I know that I will fall over at some point. Um, but I'm glad it wasn't on my first go. And then also, of course, I have my birthday weekend and on, on Friday night, uh, my friend surprised me with like a meal with some of our friends and her parents um, at their house. We had like tacos and um, nachos and all that sort of stuff. So that was delicious and amazing. And then we went out, which was also great. Um, didn't get home until like, I think I went to bed at about half five. So I, Saturday was kind of, null and void um, and then we went out again on Saturday night and then Sunday we calmed down a bit and, and, and baked some cinnamon rolls. So was, I baked my first set of cinnamon rolls that also feels like uh, another step into Swedishness. So a friend of mine posted on my wall a day after my birthday sorry that this is late but I think that it's worth the wait and so I was just like yeah cool whatever it is and it was like um, a video of Little Mix and I was like oh sure it's like funny video of Little Mix because she knows how much I love them because I love them. So then I was I was doing something else at the time and I just clicked on Facebook and I like simultaneously exploded and imploded. They like they are like my number one. I've seen them live so many times. I saw them live on my own um, I've basically had my eardrums perforated by a collective scream of 11 year olds. I've bought every album, I've, I just like, I love them so much. And recently I was in Waterloo and I walked past Jessie and I did, I li we, like, we literally like shoulder to shoulder walked past each other and I just thought, do you know what? I'm actually not going to say anything because first of all I just res I respect them as, the, I respect the fact that they are people and they're not going to want to get bothered. And also, like, she, they don't owe me anything. She, like, when she was walking past me, she didn't owe me anything. I'm like, I'm a fan, and I'm, I'm a huge fan of a lot of things. But I've always like maintained that, like, they owe me nothing. I, I can love them as much as I want, but they owe me nothing. And 
a way of showing my gratitude for how amazing Little Mix are was to, to not say anything to Jessie and to just let her walk past me and carry on her day as, as she was planning to. Um, and I was just like, oh, it was cool that I saw her. Um, like, I, that was enough for me. Um, and then, yeah, so when I received this video, I was so overwhelmed by every single emotion uh, they they actually like they said my name that like my name passed their lips um I, I wouldn't go as far as to say they know who i am because i'm sure they do that for a lot of people um i don't want to like gas myself too much and like yes yeah, so we're basically like best friends now i i'm already had tickets to see them in london next um november so i was gonna fly home for it but now i'm gonna buy a second set of tickets to see them in stockholm because they just released their european dates um so yeah that was incredible. Um, and I'm not gonna lie. I, I, every now and again, I do get, go back and just watch it, just to, <laughs> just to be like, yeah, that actually happened. So that's pretty much it, really, for this week. I did. I sent another job application in. It was a bit more advanced. I made a really surreal CV. That either they're gonna be like, this is the weirdest thing anyone's ever sent us, or they're gonna be like, okay, it's quite an original idea. This is like what it looks like. Uh, and yeah, so it's like I try to make a more visual representation of a um, usually text-based TV. So hopefully they'll be like, wow, what a quirky individual and not like, what a weirdo. You know how that goes if I ever hear back from them. Uh, so that's pretty much me. I haven't really got much plans for the coming week, but I've got friends visiting next week. Um, so I want to make sure I'll, I'll probably get a pretty good itinerary put together. Um, you can expect another visit to the Ava Museum. Uh, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care.